What's up guys, I'm back here at the equipment rack. Got plenty of things I can test, but I have something that I've been wanting to test for a while. You guys may or may not like it, but let's find out what it is. So what we have here is a bit of a mystery. The APC-602 by AL Audio. Now, some people have said this is Audio Logic or Acoustic Logic, I'm not sure. It does say here it's from the year 2005 and it says AL Car Audio is the manufacturer. So I don't know, this is probably some kind of a flea market amp or something. Has this chrome finish and this big old grill here on the front. Looks like a speaker grill, but I think it's actually for a fan. Here on one side of the amp, you can see we have a lot of different options here, of course, for this two channel amplifier, starting off with the protection and power LEDs, high level input, RCA low level input, those are not Tiffany style, then we have the gain control, high pass filter, crossover for high pass, full or low pass, low pass filter adjustment, and then the bass boost just off or on. And then we have remote connection for a bass knob. On the opposite side, we just have the speaker outputs. These are the typical Korean style from the mid 2000s. Same thing with the ground remote and battery and also a 20 amp fuse ATC style. My buddy Aaron posted this on Facebook when I posted the amp showing this one pager here with some of the specs. It doesn't really give the power output at all. It just talks about the filters, trimo capable, built-in cooling fan, all that stuff. So we had to get it wired up to the amp dyno. It did power on. So let's go ahead and power up the good old SMD Demore Engineering Amplifier Dyno. Test this amplifier, find out how much power it gives us. On the left, you'll see the RMS power output in watts. In the middle, the ohm load. On the right, we're gonna see the voltage of the dyno. We'll also have the remote clamp display so we can calculate efficiency. First up, we're gonna do the stereo test. This is a two channel amp. We'll start off at four ohms. Certified test first takes us to 1% distortion. 43 watts per channel at 13.7 volts. What about uncertified up to the clipping point? Probably gonna be pretty similar. Yeah, pretty similar. 44 watts per channel at 13.7 kept the voltage down to the mid 13 so you guys will be happy dynamic power one kilohertz right at 50 watts per channel 49 watts per channel at 13.8 what about the efficiency this is a class a b amp so mid 50s to upper 50s is about what we expect we got 58 percent now let's try the two ohm test certified first using a one kilohertz tone right at 60 watts per channel at 13.6 volts Next up, we'll go uncertified up to the clipping point and virtually the same, about 61 watts per channel at 13.6. What about dynamic? Can we boost up that power? Get some bigger numbers. Can we get triple digits? No, <laughs> but we did get 74 watts per channel, 13.64, and it just jumped to 76 as it knew I was done. Now what about one ohm? We also decided to run the dynamic burst at one ohm. Can we bust triple digits at one ohm? No, not quite. 88 and 90 watts per channel at 13 and a half volts. Efficiency at two ohms is even worse, 47%. Again, you should not expect a whole lot more. Now let's bridge the amplifier using the two outside speaker leads to find out how much power it does bridge. We're running the 40 hertz tone this time instead of one kilohertz. At four ohms, we got 102 watts. So not super powerful, might be powerful enough for your funky pup. Uncertified up to clipping, a little bit over 100. Almost busted a 120, 119 at 13.55. Now let's try dynamic. Can we beat a 120 dynamically? Oh yes, 127. 13.78, oh, it did jump up, 128, 13.73. Now we also did run the two ohm dynamic burst just to see what kind of power it gave us and not a whole lot more, 147, 13.58. Now check out this efficiency using the four ohm track. Ugh, 41%, not very good. Now let's hook this up to the Sundown six and a half inch SA 6.5 SW to find out how it sounds on a subwoofer. Got the audio logic. You can probably hear the fan powering the Sundown SA 6.5, six and a half inch sub. Let's give it a little magic mic, feel the bass.
Cons of Base, Base Outlaws. Some 808 Dreams, Basetronics. Now that crunchy sound that you're hearing is actually the amp. It is not the speaker. So anyway, just want to let you know. Now let's find out what's inside. Probably amp guts and chicken butts, but let's find out. Now for this amp, you have to take off eight screws around the exterior here of this chrome shroud, which is really just the top panel. So we'll get off all these screws and we'll just virtually lift it up. Only thing that's connected is the fan, of course, the thing that was making all the racket. And honestly, I don't think it was doing a whole lot being right in the center. So let's get that disconnected and take a look at the guts. Here you can see the shroud with the big fan there in the very center. And here's the amp. Yes, it's a typical mid-2000s Korean-style amplifier. Nothing too fancy here. Single transformer. Has the two channels there on the right. It has 35-volt, 2200 microfarad caps. We have 105 degrees Celsius caps here on the power supply section. And here we go. Nothing too fancy at all. We'll do a flyover real quick. You can see the different transistors there on the side for the power supply and for the outputs. Now this does use the IRFZ 44 ends for the power supply and this has the C4466 and A1693 complementary BJTs for the speaker outputs. Now this was just a quick test of the AL Audio APC602. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Here's the Super Chrome and Shiny Audio Logic. It's the APC602. This is 20 watts. I think it's missing like a three or a six or something before that. Anyway, it just came off. But um, I wanted you guys to hear this fan when you power it up. Take a listen to this. Sounds like it's dying a slow death.